Ingmar Bergman is a hell of a director. I don't know if I would say one of my favorites, but he's up there for sure. And with Through a Glass Darkly, he continues to prove why I called him a hell of a director just now. The writing and directing of this film is so damn tight, it's quite impressive. With every scene in the movie, I mean literally every scene, the camera is fixed exactly where it needs to be for the scene to play out with as few cuts as possible. And all with a wide enough lens for each actor to perform his or her choreography and still be in frame. Speaking of framing, it is top-notch throughout the film. This goes along specifically with the exceptional blocking I was just talking about. The framing is done very well as wide shots versus close-ups are used precisely when each one needs to be used. Wide shots for when there's more choreography in the scene and close-ups for those dramatic soliloquies that Bergman is so good at writing. Speaking of writing, the script is tight, as I said. The characters' relationships to one another is revealed slowly throughout the first act, giving the viewer time to figure it out for himself. And the script itself deals with heavy themes such as mental illness, love, and even death. And through these, I found the subtext to actually be about art imitating life and vice versa. And also the lengths an artist, in this case a novelist, is willing to go to get material for his art. This is made especially apparent by the line from the father character when he says, It makes me sick to think of the life I sacrificed for my so-called art. In the last act, all of these themes come together when Karen has her final mental breakdown and the other three characters are forced to watch pretty much helplessly, culminating in sending her to the hospital. And what really struck me about the ending is when the father and son characters have their discussion about what caused Karen's breakdown and what to do about it, deciding that loving her is the best they can do. As Manus, the uh, son-slash-brother character, says, If we love her, then she is surrounded by God. And of course, all of this is bolstered by fantastic performances across the board. I think all of them are great, but I guess Harriet Anderson is really the one that steals the show. And so, I am giving this one 97.02 farks out of a total possible 115.5 farks.